Hello dear students, in this class we will discuss about equipotential surfaces. In the last class we have discussed electric potential due to the point charge, electric potential due to the electric dipole and electric potential due to the system of charges. In this class now I am going to discuss about equipotential surfaces. Equipotential surface it means suppose if you are consider this is the one surface a surface connecting all the points at the same potential here this is the surface the surface connecting all the points at the same potential then it is called equipotential surfaces or it is also defined as any surface that has same electric potential at every point on it. Here it has same electric potential at every point on it. It is called equipotential surface. The surface may be a surface of a body or a surface in a space. For example, the surface of a charge conductor is equipotential surface. The surface of a charge conductor. Suppose if you consider this is a charged conductor. This is a charge conductor. The surface of this charge conductor is this is equipotential surface. Now we will see about the properties of equipotential surfaces or this these are also called the important laws or properties of equipotential surfaces. The first property is no work is done in moving a test charge over an equipotential surface. Equipotential surface means surface connecting all the points at the same potential. Surface connecting all the points at the same potential is called equipotential surfaces. The first property is no work is done in moving a test charge over an equipotential surface. Suppose now I consider this is a equipotential surface. In this equipotential surface let, con let us consider two points. Consider two points this is the point A. So the point A and another point B. These are the two points over on this equipotential surface. This is equipotential surface. Consider equipotential surface. On this equipotential surface, now I consider two points A and B on this surface. Yeah. Suppose a test charge Q0 is placed at point A. Now, no work is done in moving a test charge over an equipotential surface. Now, this test charge Q0 move from point A to B. Test charge Q0 move from point A to B. Then, the work done will be when this test charge moves from point A to B in this equipotential surface. Here, there is a some amount of work is done that work done is work done from a to b is equal to here work done it is the product of charge here work done means here it is the product of unit charge into unit charge into potential difference potential difference the amount of unit charge bringing from one point to another point against the direction of electric field when this Test charge moves from point A to B. There is some work done. That is work done from point A to B is equal to charge into potential difference. Potential difference at point A is that is phi A. Potential at point A at point B is that is phi B. Now work done from point A to B is equal to charge that is Q0 into potential difference that is phi B minus phi A. 
potential at point B minus potential at point A. But here the surface is equipotential. This total is the surface is equipotential. Equipotential surface means connecting all the points at the same potential or it is a surface it has same electric potential at all the points same electric potential at all the points then here vb minus va at point b at point a at these two point it has a same electric potential then the value of vb minus va is equal to 0 0 into q naught is 0 then work done from point a to b is equal to 0 work done from point a to b is equal to 0 then there is no work is done in moving a test charge over an equipotential surface this is the first property of equipotential surface next property electric field is electric field is always normal to the equipotential surface at every point electric field is always normal to the equipotential surface at every point if the field were not normal to the equipotential surfaces it would have non-zero component along that surface suppose if you consider test charge it moves again at the component a work has to be done but there is no potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surface therefore no work is required to move a test charge on that surface therefore electric field must be normal to the equipotential surface at every point there is no work done then electric field must be normal to the equipotential surface at every point this is the second property of the equipotential surface and the third property is equipotential surfaces are close together in the regions of strong field and far apart in the regions of weak field here this is the diagram of equipotential surfaces due to an electric dipole in this region here at this point equipotential surfaces are very close to each other see here at this region at this region equipotential surfaces these lines are very close to each other but at this region the lines are apart from each other this indicates equipotential surfaces are close together in the region of strong field and further apart in the region of weak field or mathematically also we can prove this we know that electric field at any point is equal to the negative potential gradient equal to the negative potential gradient that is E is equal to minus dV divided by dr or here dr is equal to dr is equal to minus dV divided by E for the same change in the value of dV here dV is equal to constant then dr is inversely proportional to its electric field dr is inversely proportional to its electric field here dr is inversely proportional to its electric field which means spacing between the equipotential surface will be smaller in the regions where the electric field is stronger and vice versa and vice versa this indicates equipotential surfaces are close together in the region of strong field and far apart in the region of weak field this is the third property of equipotential surfaces and the fourth property it is very simple no two equipotential surfaces can intersect each other see this diagram there is no two equipotential surfaces can intersect each other suppose if they intersect then there will be two values of equipotential no equipotential surface means it is the surface it has same electric potential at every point if they are intersect then there will be two values of electric potential at the point of intersection which is not possible it is the fourth property of equipotential surfaces now i would like to explain the equipotential surfaces of various charge systems 
equipotential surfaces of various charge system once again i repeat the definition of this equipotential surface equipotential surface is a surface which has equal potential at every point this is the equipotential surface here equipotential surface due to the single point charge suppose now i consider here this is the single point charge equipotential surfaces due to the single point charge or concentric spheres here the concentric spheres are formed due to the single point charge here these are the lines of forces these lines of forces are produced due to the single point charge in the constant region of electric field in the constant region of electric field here along the z direction the perpendicular distance between equipotential surfaces remains same remains same because electric field is always normal to the equipotential surface at every point here this is the equipotential surface of a positive point charge we know the formula the electric potential due to the point charge that is v is equal to 1 divided by 4 5 epsilon naught q divided by r which is the expression for electric potential due to the point charge here v means it is the constant r is also constant therefore the equipotential surface of a single point charge or concentric spherical cells here these are the concentric spherical cells with their centers at the point charge here as the lines of forces point radially outwards these are the lines of forces or radially outwards so they are perpendicular to the equipotential surfaces at all the point these are the equipotential surfaces there it is the perpendicular line here also perpendicular line this is also perpendicular line hence as the lines of forces point radially outwards hence they are perpendicular to the equipotential surfaces at all the point here this is the diagram this diagram indicates equipotential surface due to a point charge and the next point is here also this diagram is equipotential surface for a single charge here this is a single charge here also due to this single point charge the concentric spheres are produced this diagram indicates electric field lines for a single point charge here compare don't confuse this diagram here this diagram indicates electric field lines due to a single point charge but this diagram indicates equipotential surface for a single charge then this is equipotential surfaces for a uniform electric field uniform electric field means the electric field is distributed equally throughout the region the electric field is distributed equally throughout the region equipotential surfaces for a uniform electric field here this is the reason of uniform electric field reason of uniform electric field this diagram shows the equipotential surfaces for a uniform electric field the lines of forces are parallel to the straight lines here these are the lines of forces the lines of forces are parallel to the straight lines and equipotential surfaces are equidistant and parallel planes perpendicular to the lines of forces perpendicular to the lines of forces here these are the equipotential surfaces these are equipotential surfaces in case of equipotential surface for a uniform electric field the lines of force are parallel straight lines and equipotential surfaces or equidistant parallel planes perpendicular to the lines of forces and the next concept is here this diagram indicates equipotential surfaces due to an electric dipole here the plus q and minus q these are the two charges due to these two charges it is also called electric dipole electric dipole means a pair of equal and opposite charges equal and
the charges separated by a small distance is called electric dipole due to this electric dipole here the potential is produced around these two dipoles here this diagram indicates equipotential surfaces due to an electric dipole here two equal and opposite charges plus q this is plus q and this is minus q plus q and minus q separated by a small distance they are close together in the region in between two charges in the region in between two charges due to these two here due to this positive charge the lines of force is radially outwards due to this negative charge the lines of force is radially inwards this is very important point remember this point here due to this positive charge the lines of force is radially outwards due to this negative point charge the lines of force is radially inwards here these concentric spheres or they are equipotential surfaces they are equipotential surfaces they never intersect each other and the next point is here suppose now i consider now i consider equipotential surfaces of two equal positive charges two equal positive charges here we consider two opposite charges one is positive charge and another one is negative charge due to electric dipole like this equipotential surfaces are formed but the next concept is now i consider two positive charges two positive charges this is equipotential surface of a two equal positive charges two equal positive charges here due to this positive charge the lines of forces are radially outwards the lines of forces are radially outwards due to this positive charge also the lines of forces are radially outwards the lines of forces are radially outwards here the concentric spheres are formed due to this positive charge concentric spheres are formed due to this two positive charges here two positive charges they are repel each other according to the property of charge here in this region this is equipotential surface in the region of equipotential surface this diagram shows the equipotential surface of two equal and positive charges this is very important point these two charges are also positive charges each equal to plus q separated by a small distance separated by a small distance the equipotential surfaces are far apart in the region of weak electric field in the region of weak electric field in such a regions here yeah? in this region it is very strong field in this region they are very less apart from each other at this point it is a weak electric field at this point the electric lines of forces are far apart from each other this is about equipotential surfaces of various charge systems and properties of equipotential surface and definition of equipotential surface here from using this equipotential surfaces we find both the direction and magnitude of electric field in the region of that space thank you